Good evening. Very good performance from ourselves again. And you deserve clear the three points. We are the best team on the pitch by far. Um, the game started a bit balanced. We knew before the match the way they can create some problems for us the, with the sharp players they have in the attack line, the quality they have in the attack line, with the, with the OB behind the, the, the T forward players. And we knew and we prepared well ourselves that will be from direct game every time, that long, good diagonals from the two central defenders, more from Cody, and, and the, in some moments from, from Jordan Pickford as well, the balls in behind, runs in behind every time, and the second balls, and after that they tried. Um, we took a little bit of time to, to adapt for that situation. Even so, we started to create chances as well from the first 10 minutes. Um, some two good chances, two great saves from, from Jordan. One good save as well from Bern, I have to, to say. Um, and after that moment, we control all the game. Always on the front foot. Um, it's a bit more balanced, but always as taking the control of the game and getting the ball for our offensive half. First half and all the second half, we push completely them back. I, I don't remember one moment, one danger moment from ourselves around our penalty area. They didn't have the way we push them back, we create chances and chances and chances. The way we, our reaction when we lost the ball was almost perfect during the second half. The way we regained the ball again, great reaction from, from our boys, not just Joel, not just Harrison, the most offensive players as well. Um, very good position always from our defenders to, to regain the ball again and our second half was uh, again at very good level, very very good level. It's not easy to do what we did um, this, evening, this evening against, against Everton, against a good side and for, the, for us we were in clinical. In a normal evening for us and the last moment, last finishing will be a, a game for us to score two or three goals because we created and uh, this is the main thing for us um, if you keep doing in this way more goals will come for us because you are creating. You, you, have shown, you are showing the desire, the, the quality to create chances, and the, in a normal night, uh, the games, will, the goals will come again. You came up as a promoted team. You talked about the, the challenges you were going to face, even at the end of, of last season. But looking at, at what you've done, the way you've set up 13 games, I think 19 points. That's probably about what you might have anticipated. You're, you're going in a, in a good direction. And I have to tell you that you could have more points because you deserve. This is the true. Uh, tonight is a good example. If someone has to win just one team, and uh, it's Fulham. We had some more games as well that we could uh, even have more points. And uh, I'm really pleased. I'm, I'm proud of my players, uh, the way we played, the fans as well. Great atmosphere in our stadium. And you have to go again. Uh, now is the moment for us to rest, to analyze like we do always, and to prepare the next one. Um, of course, we are pleased the way, not just the, the, the points that you are collecting and all, all the situations, but more than that, the way we are playing. Um, if they block in one way, we have different ways to, to arrive, the, the way we did it. Um, this evening, a little, a little bit slightly different, the way we set up Metro to explore some of the things that we wanted to explore in their organization and the, the players they understood and you did it really well as well and was uh, i'm really pleased to see of course i'm i'm not really happy like I, our players because all of us you know what we did how we deserve really the three points this evening and then 44 as was we were not clinic williams performance defied the fact that he's probably the oldest player on the pitch i mean he did he was showing for the ball all game he was a threat did you know when he came that he still had that in him, that he could still deliver, or you wanted to be more, to be more of, a, of a leader role on the, on the pitch? When you have quality, you have. When you are a top-class player, you are a top-class player. And if you have 20, it's fantastic because you have so many years ahead of you. When you are 30, you are probably in a, or 28, you are in a fantastic age. When you are 34, the quality for sure you, you don't lose. You can lose some things, some stamina, some physicality or the, or the game as well, but quality you don't lose for sure. And everything will him as that. Of course, it's up to us to work with him, to make him to work harder and harder and harder to be always in a good conditions to play. It's clear our philosophy, the, um, what we demand from him, is understanding really well and after he has the quality. Uh, he's, he's been a um, fantastic uh, 
thing to have him under, under myself. Everyone likes him in our football club. He's enjoying every single moment. And after, he's showing his quality. 100% commitment with our, with our club, with our project. Enjoy every single day at the training ground. And for me, it's the, the main thing. And after, it's up to me to take the best from him because the good thing that he has, he comes always to the training ground um, open to listen and to, to learn, even if he, he, he stays at 34 years old. Sonia. Yeah, from the second year row at home, the yeah, second year row at home, and playing so offensive like we did t tonight. So many shots, I think 13 corners, playing second half always in our, in our offensive half with 20, 30, 40, 50 meters behind us as well. We didn't give one, one moment for them. And it's another good thing. We took many positives from this game, even if you, we didn't get to three points, many positives from, positives from this game. Um, much more aggressive in some moments. Our back line always close the striker, didn't give him the chance for him to, to turn. In the air, we were stronger as well, apart from the first 10, 15 minutes. With that direct game, they created some moments. Our second half was much better in this, in this aspect as well. We spoke half time. And of course, I'm pleased. It's important for us. The way we play, more here at Cottage, uh, normally create chances, normally score goals. And if you can keep the clean sheet, even if you don't change our philosophy, is a very good thing for us and uh, will help us to win more games in the future. And there were two sort of pretty big decisions in the game. There was a potential red card against Mitrovic and a penalty um, or Williams penalty shower. I just wonder what your thoughts were on both of those. Two different things. Um, the first one clear the, the referee was was there clear on, on the moment with, with Mitro. Um, <laughs> for sure, one percent sure Mitro didn't want to tackle the player. He wants to to win the ball. Uh, and when one player that doesn't do that on, on purpose and doesn't want to, to take away the player, of course, I think it was Idrissa Gana, yeah? Idrissa, was Idrissa. He, he was quicker than Mitro in that moment, took the ball from him and was not that big take of some really with aggression to, to go. For me, it's clear the moment. It cannot be everything now a uh, red card just because the people want red card. If not, all the games will finish with night and, and nine and ten, and ten players. This is the, the first thing about the penalty was the decision of the referee. I, 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 will, accept, I will accept, of course. Um, straight away, William told me that was clear penalty, was in, this, in, in his feet. I saw the moment, it, the player touched on him, it's clear. If it was enough for him, for the VAR called the referee or not, it's up to them to decide. I don't want to, to make many comments on, on that. But that, the truth that the player touched on, on, on William, I want just to see consistent in the future. If that one is not penalty, in the future it cannot be penalties against us as well in that type of situation. Just and last, last couple of questions, Peter. Um, just a technical remark, you referenced it there about Mitrovic moving into sort of the wide areas. Was that deliberate to go on to create space for, for William as well? Yes, was, was, we planned that, that situation, not just in a, when you were building, just even for the, our, our third attack. We try to take Mitro more from the, that central zone. More, we try to put him more with with Connor and with uh, with uh, with Seamus Coleman than always in the central zone. It was something that we have we have planned and we the players understood and it did really well in that, that situation. Even moments that we we built from we built from the back and we did really well. Uh, we knew the, the way they came here to try to press us, but after the first 10, 15 minutes they they couldn't to press us higher and they wait more for us in that in that situation. We knew the way they come with Dominic and, uh, and Alexi over to try to press us. We did it well, calm, patient, with Bern involved in our first build-up with, uh, with two central defense players, Juan, and we did it well. We start to beat their pressure. They set a little bit more as a medium block, and you knew when they start to block, they try to block all our pocket players. They did it well. We knew the space was from outside, or from in some moments to explore Mitro and William in that side. I think we did it really well. Uh, the plan was good, the players they understood, they execute really well and for us we were not clinic because uh, it was a game for us to score goals and to win um, the game clear. Just on the recent results, I mean, it's four unbeaten now from four quite important games and you know, we talked at the beginning of the month about how decisive it could be. Yes. You've got eight points from those games. I'm being <coughs> Are you pleased with that that you know, we've come away from here? I mean, you seem disappointed, but I guess that reflects growing high standards. Yes, I'm, I'm disappointing just because of the result and the feeling that our players they deserve clear much more from the game and they didn't get what, uh, what they deserve clear. But I'm proud of them. I'm pleased the way we played. Um, it's not easy to do what we did. Um, 
this evening, what we did second half at the level that you are playing in Premier League against the side with the really quick players in the attack line, sharp players in the attack line. Every moment that we switch off, they can punish you and the way you control all the game. I'm really pleased for that. Uh, it's not easy to do it. And of course, it was it's being an important man for us. We will look always in the same way. Now, now we have more two games, but our focus will be in, in the Man City, Man City game as well. But of course, it's important when you add points, when you collect points. And the main thing that we are deserving, probably even more. Just on those two games, does, is there a fearlessness going into those games? Because normally, you know, normally a struggling team, let's go, not, not, not been the case this year, but you know, you look at those games and you sort of write them off. Is there a fearlessness going into those games now that you've got that, that buffer of points? It's the way we, we, we match all, all the games, really. We don't, uh, of course, respect. Looking for the next one. Uh, we know that we will play against the best team in this competition. Uh, we know that we play probably against one of the best teams, if not the best in the world. Uh, you know everything, the treat they, they, they have, all the, all the situation, the, the way they play. You have to prepare ourselves well and to go again. And after we have the, the, the last game before the World Cup, good to that is at home against a very good side as well. And the right moment, we will have to think in, in, in that game. Very last question, final question, Paul. Not from Monday, no, no, just all together. Marco, um, you were sacked by Everton in December 2019. Do you think you showed them today with that performance that they made a mistake? <laughs> when it was? 2019. <laughs> so, ma so many years to talk about it. It's not a moment to talk about it. Uh, the game tonight was Fulham against Everton, not Marco Silva with, with Everton. It's not a it's not moment to talk about the situation, everything, what I can... I have to say, I said in that in that moment, uh, what's happened there. Now is, I, I'm here to talk about Fulham. If you want to ask me about the game, I'm pleased well, to yeah, to talk you, about the game. You were written off after that, and you come back, and you're having a great success now. So, would you accept you proved some people wrong? No, I have to prove first of all for myself that uh, I'm. I'm improving every single time. I have to prove for that guys that they are in my dressing room every single day that um, I'm taking the best from them. This is the pressure that I put behind me, behind me, behind my staff as well to be better every single every single day as well. Um, if the people want to see in one way, they can see it as well. I have to rem remind you that our first season in Everton, we finished in the eighth position. We fought until the last game to be in Europe League, and probably was, was one of the best seasons they ever the last. I don't know how many years, okay? Okay, guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.